Hello gardening friends, welcome to Backyard Basics. I'm John Drumgool. So, we're getting off into spring here. We're beginning to plant tomatoes and other vegetables in the garden. And many of us, including myself, have some of these cheap tomato cages. We saved a lot of money, but about mid-season, the tomatoes are leaning over and um, we wasted a lot of money. So, we've solved a way of, uh, of doing this. Roger Igo at The Natural Gardener has developed several systems that work very well. And they use these T-posts right here. This is the smaller version of it, easy to get into the soil and um, easy to work with also. Real versatile. One of the things that we do is drive them into the soil by first putting them into the tomato cage. Now, what you'll notice right here is I have a bamboo pole put on it. And the bamboo pole is held in place by these zip ties. You can use any color zip tie, that doesn't make any difference. But you can see right here how much more strength is added to this little cheap cage by putting on this little T-post and then the bamboo right here. And it works very well. And these things are very versatile also. Once they're bound together, we can make many other structures out of this. And you can be creative. You'll find other ways to use them in the garden. Once they're put together and they're really strong, which is really important, they won't blow over, they'll hold in place, and you'll be able to use them year after year. So, uh, out into the garden with them, one of the things that we can do, and as you know, um, we can put them in each of the corners, but we can also use them in other areas. We've made a big old house out of them where we can support cucumbers and squash and uh, ornamental products, uh, gourds, for example, all growing in this thing, um, even some cantaloupes. You can see that they're sturdy, and with some climbing supports, you can grow all of those things. When we plant the uh, gourds in there, we call it the house of the gourd. And so um, you can see, you can wrap these houses too in the wintertime with a little bit of that um, floating row cover. And that works very well. You can do the cages that way too and uh, probably grow some of the winter peas. So you can use it from season to season. I like them a whole lot because they're very sustainable. It allows you to save some money. It's a very flexible little product and you'll be able to come up with different things that um, you might use them for. And they last forever. The bamboo pole is not in the soil where it'll decompose over time and it takes some time to do that. And the flexibility of this pole is um, there. You can be creative and figure out what it is that you're going to be able to do out in the garden. So what you're going to need is one of these T-posts and you can find those at some of the chain stores. They'll have that in their hardware department and um, they're not expensive at all. The bamboo is easy to find at many garden centers. So go ahead and get that at the independent garden centers also. Then the tomato cages, the cheap ones right here, you probably already have them. But you can fix all of these things when you use a T-post, bamboo, and a zip tie. For Backyard Basics, I'm John Dromgool. I'll see you next time. Thank you.